All right, coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight showdown. Well, this guy's got some hands on him, DC, and sometimes he takes issue when we call him a boxer because he is an MMA fighter and a well-rounded one at that. But it's hard not to lead the dance and lead the walk with the boxing skills that really are off the charts. Yeah, it's unbelievable. So he can be mad, but I would be happy to be called a boxer if I possessed that set of skills, if I had the ability to mix the target as well as he does. When he's most comfortable, when he's flowing, when the head is moving, when it's never on the center line, when he's landing body shots, when he's following that left body shot with that beautiful left hook, that's when he is most dangerous. It's a guy that for all that he can do in the octagon, at the end of the day, he was a boxer first and a fantastic boxer at that when he stepped into the UFC. And don't sell yourself short, you have good job. I'm trying, but I'm not this guy. All right, here he is, the decorated kickboxer, back for more here tonight. And he's so comfortable in the striking realm. It's almost like he started kickboxing before he ever was reading or writing. Oh, it's unbelievable to see someone that's so comfortable under so much duress. I know. When you're in kickboxing range, you are in the fire. There is no safety. You're right in range to be getting knocked out. But he does not fear that. He loves it. He loves the, com he loves the combat. He loves the engagement. But what you have to understand is he's not engaging his opponents on their terms. He's doing it on his terms. Whether or not he wants to be in close with the big punches or he wants to be at range landing kicks, he's just constantly putting damage on you. Top, bottom, up, low, it does not matter. This guy is a dominant striker, one of the best kickboxers the UFC has ever seen. And in terms of the punching technique and the jab, as good as anyone in this division. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 242 pounds, fighting out of New York. And now to defeat his opponent, fighting at the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fight time! All right, go the rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, so back your corners, come out fighting. We've got two classically trained strikers here. Any chance this fight actually goes to the ground? This fight does not go to the ground. <laughs> this one will be fought in the pocket. Two guys will stand in front of each other. They will trade punches. They will trade kicks. It's going to be a classic matchup that you normally see inside of a ring. We get it in the octagon tonight. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one? Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Oh, just out of range with that punch attempt. Some fighters shy away from checking a leg kick. Check that one. Slips the left hand. Oh, big shot land. He lands a big knee to the body. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. 
Nice kick. Well, that kick landed the body beautifully placed right underneath that elbow. Let's see if he makes the adjustments now defensively to avoid opening up that midsection to further damage by that kick. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Misses with the right hand. Still nice body kick land. Oh, slips and rips. He's got the body on a swivel tonight. Big ball punch land. Now he gets back to range. Oh, how about this kicking game on full display tonight? Kicks back to back. Just truly makes up the target. Sight to behold. Liver kicks. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Oh, man, I think you jumped out of your seat a little bit after that kick. Oh, I did, because I have times where I've been kicked like that. And I'm going to tell you one thing, it does not feel good. Good punch. Beautiful body kick. Oh, collar tie. That was a thudding leg kick. Again, they clinch. Back in the clinch position. This is where he has done a ton of good work here. Punch, punch, punch to the head from the clinch. Nice defense there, huge block. Great punch landed with so much power. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. Now a kick to the body. Oh, nice. Got the single collar tie. And they separate. Just unable to quite find that range. Oh, he's wearing it now, bleeding from his cheek. Look at him chopping the wood. Chopping the wood with those leg kicks. Oh, eats a knee. Oh, nice connection there with a the punch, DC. Great time to land that punch. You got to check these low leg kicks. All right, so pretty good work here against the fence as he continues to keep his opponent on the defensive. He keeps him defensive and never gives him an opportunity to rest. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Well, one got through, that kick was blocked. Oh, single collar tie here. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Nice kick. Way to mix it up. Huge elbow land from the quick. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Side leg kick lands and immediately a mark on his opponent. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. Oh, big left hand there. You wonder if the offensive fighter's gonna start to get frustrated here. Most stiff on all these shots are getting blocked. They're getting blocked because he's fighting one of the best defensive fighters in the UFC. Round two is next. Right, well, his kicking game was outstanding in that round. We'll see if his opponent can make the adjustments, but take us through the replays before we get there. It's always weird to watch a young fighter start to come into his own. Early in his career, he did not have this ability. He did not have the ability to dictate and control fights with his legs. Now he does, and he looks like a future champion in the making. Relax. Get to the water and listen. I want you to set those kicks up a little bit better. All right, DC, buckle up. Here we go with our next okay, round. Number High hey. number of kicks landed in the previous round, and he'll look to keep it going here. He'll look to keep winning the fight with his kicks. He's throwing high kick, leg kick, body kick. He's even throwing a couple spin kicks in there. This guy is so educated with fighting with his legs. That's a big strike right there. Very nice leg kick for him there. Can't take too many of those. hip into that kick. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Nice head kick. Lands to the body there. Big 
big body kick lands. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the whole platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found a set of punch. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. Punch is blocked. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Nice punch lands over the top. DC didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. Unable to connect it. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Oh man, that cut is getting worse by the minute. Looking ghastly at this point. Just a slip there. Nice loop and punch. Three minutes. Oh, huge block! Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here. And as a result, he has taken control of this second round. Beautiful kick. Oh, big right hand, yes. He's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Single collar tie now. Nice. And both guys really throwing with authority. Well, he's got the kicking game going tonight. Lands another one there. A beautiful kick, and all I can think of better him than me. Well, you gotta think. You knew if he landed that weapon repeatedly, it could be a short night for his opponent, but that was just one perfectly placed strike that his opponent candidly didn't even see coming. It landed flush, and the rest, as they say, is history. Big knockout win for him here tonight. Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. So a huge result and a seminal moment for him here tonight as he gets the big knockout win. That could hold up as one of the better KOs of the year. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliata has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, six seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout. So the celebration is on with him and his team, and rightfully so. A monumental result tonight as he gets the win by knockout. He spoke it into existence. He said over and over to anyone that'll listen, I am going to knock this man out. He did it in an even more impressive fashion than he ever could have imagined.